Hey everybody, Lixinda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. We are going to be working with Arteza paints today. This is their iridescent collection, meaning that they look different on black than they do on white, basically. We have 10 colors, and from those 10 colors, I have picked Fairy Tale Blue, Royal Purple, and Glowing Peach. And I'm going to paint these onto a tumbler, and then we're going to move on from there. This is the base layer, basically, but I think it should, I think it'll look pretty. We'll find out. I'm using a fluffy brush. You could use any brush you want, really. Okay, I think that looks all right. I'm tempted to sprinkle some glitter on it right now because it's wet and I could probably get away with that. So let's. This is Press Street Station Junior from Mr. Nolo's Glitter. It's a 0 .008 cut. There we go. Just makes it sparkly, a little sparkly. All right, I'm gonna let this thoroughly dry. We'll put some resin on it. So I'll see you back here. And we're back. Yay. Okay, so this is completely dried. I am going to put on a layer of resin now. I'm going to use Mr. Nola's Glitter's Fast Set Epoxy. They're speed dry. The reason I'm using that is because it's a, it's very thick and I want to, I don't want a thin layer. I want a relatively thick layer. Once I get the resin on there, I'm going to sprinkle on these three chunky mixes from Franz Glitter and more. This is Fluorite Chunky. This is Sweet Tart. And this is Landon. I think those will be pretty. I think they go with the three things we've already done. I'll let that cure up. It's, it takes a couple hours, that fast set resin does. And then we'll move on to whatever I decide to do for decals or sayings or decorations or whatever. So here we go. Okay, we're back. Put the cup aside. It's almost done, so it's finishing setting up. I mean, I can touch it and everything. I want it to get a little harder, harder <laughs> before I put decals on it. After lots of thinking, which I guess is really hard for me these days, honestly, it just seems harder and harder for me to come up with ideas that aren't things I've done before, and I've done this before. <laughs> Let's be perfectly honest here. There isn't anything about this cup that I haven't done before. But I am going to take this peekaboo sticky sheet from Mr. Nola's Glitter. I will put the name of this specific design here on the screen. And I am going to cut out some of the florals. This, like I said, this is a peekaboo, meaning that most of the places where you see white here are actually transparent or clear vinyl. And uh, the cup will show through. 
I am going to start by sort of rough cutting things out here, and then I'm gonna go and do a better trim with my X-Acto. Come on, you can do it. There we go. See what needs to be tidied up here. Good. Now when the cup is set up enough that I feel comfortable putting this on, bring it back, we'll, we'll apply this, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, we're back. This is completely dry to the touch. It's set up, it's wonderful and flat and smooth and shiny and all those good things. We are now going to put our vinyl on. This is gonna go pretty much up the cup like this. Well, let's, let's see how it looks on the cup. <laughs> let's just see if I can do this. Yeah, I could have put it up a hair higher and avoided some of these ruffles, but I am not going to try and pull all this off or cut all new. I'm just not. Don't do what I did. Do it better. That's your lesson for today. That looks fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's not great. Once again, this isn't going exactly the way I thought it would in my brain when I came up with the idea of combining all these different elements together. But yeah, it's what it, it is what it is, right? Story of my life. Woohoo! I am going to put a layer of protective resin on this to protect it. <laughs> and we're back. All right, I'm just going to get started. This is, has a nice protective layer of epoxy resin over it. I didn't put anything in the resin. It's just the way you saw it before, except with clear resin on top. And I'm just going to start stickle-fying. I am not going to add any pinstriping. I am just going to leave it as is right now. I'm going to let it dry thoroughly and then put a layer of epoxy resin over the whole thing. FYI, I am no longer selling my video made tumblers. The tumblers I make in these videos, I have been selling in a group on Facebook. I no longer have an account on Facebook, so I am going to be selling them in the community tab here in this channel on YouTube. So keep an eye out for those. I'll try and list like 15 at a time. The thing to remember is I can post up to five pictures in a single post. They only show you one photo when it first comes up, so you have to make sure you look at all five photographs to see all the tumblers I will be listing in each community post. Just remember that. Look for more pictures, even if it looks like there's only one picture. 